All right, we just got off the water here. It's about 5 p.m. Got to make sure to grab the cooler, life jackets for the kids, throw it in the back of the truck. We don't want those blowing out when we go on the freeway. Okay, I got to pull the plug here. But we had a good day on the water. It wasn't too busy. We went on the smaller lake today here in West Texas. Did some fishing by the dam. Did some, I think we did some tubing. So that was a lot of fun. And I actually brought the ATV this morning. So this morning when I was by myself, I went and ripped some trails around here in Texas. All right, let's strap this down. Make sure we got our loaded down. Perfect. There we go. Life jackets in. Check. Plug is pulled. We got it strapped down. And I think we are good to go. It's always good to do a pre-check and make sure where the boat doesn't come off or anything. There we go. We got running lights on. And of course, the Cummins. She'll pull it right out. We got 3,500 Dooley, of course. And there we go. I put those flags on for Memorial Day, and I'm pretty much just going to leave them on. There we go. Flip the tow mirrors up, and we should be good to go. Got about a 15-minute drive till we get back to the house. I got to show you guys the house and the new shed that we got built. But I think before we get back to the house, I might stop at old Wendy's, get some Frosties. But before we get to Wendy's, guys, I want to quick give a shout out to G Portal. They host the servers that I am running and playing on like all the time. And that's how I play with so many people, organize mods. It makes my life a hundred times easier, especially with farm sim. So if you guys haven't already heard of G Portal, check it out. There's a link in the description. If you're interested in dedicated servers, I have a code to get 5% off. So, oh, kind of roll through the stop sign there. But they're super nice, and they let me play with a bunch of friends, organize the mods, and if if I don't want to host the server, GeoPortal does it for me, and so I don't have to be on, and they can keep playing. So we're heading into the city of West Texas right now. Gonna get some Wendy's Frosties, head back to the house, get things cleaned up, power wash the boat, and then I'm, yeah, I'm tired, man. I got beat, I got sunburnt, but we're almost, you guys can see the corn's starting to get, uh, she's turning gold. So soon we're going to be harvesting the corn. It looks good. We got plenty of moisture this summer and things are going good. All right, let's see how the Cummins does over the tracks. Not too bad. Make sure I stop here. All right, we're good to go. There she is, my favorite. Let me know, guys, in the comments if you enjoy 99 Cent Frosty. Hopefully they don't raise the price here because it's nice to just, you know, a $1 for a Frosty. So there we go. Yep, can I have a... Let's do a vanilla this time. Vanilla, medium frosty and that will be it thank you all right watch out here don't scrape the oh my goodness i i almost smoked the wendy's okay i i'm looking like a rookie here they're gonna be laughing at me it's great i'm just gonna jump out and run to the window here yep here's a dollar thank you there we go we got the frosty honestly real quick appreciate this setup we got the ram 3500 turbo diesel this is the high output one too so the torque on this is a thousand foot pound of torque got the cyber quad in the back and I got the Grady White. I love this boat. It's perfect. We can do fishing. We can act. We can tube out of it. We can do a bunch. So I'm gonna jump back on the highway here, and then we'll be at the house, and I can give you guys a tour, and we'll get everything inside. All right, and we are home. Yeah, I gotta show you guys. I haven't shown you the house, the ranch. I I call it a ranch. Some people get mad at me for calling it a ranch, but I do because I don't really. Sometimes I have ag equipment in here. We farm about 2,500 acres, but. All that equipment rarely is ever in this shop and i just got this shop built about six months ago the house is a year old and so i gotta show you guys what is up we'll pull off here on the concrete and then we'll get our power washed off all right there we go got a super nice power washer because i got a pontoon in there too some jet skis that are on the way or from my old house or old shop and then yeah i'll just give you guys a tour so real quick let's just wash off all the old water i don't do anything too crazy there is some soap in this but it's just you know clean it off real quick and it doesn't get all scummy and stuff and it's really easy to clean when i winterize it all right there we go this is my second time backing up this boat in this garage and i think i gotta do a little bit i kind of forgot about this but i i kind of want to widen this because when i pull things out and back things in I need a little more room and I hate driving on the nice grass. So let's see, can we fit her in here? Watch the flags. I think the flags will be okay. All right, let's see if I can crank it around. Right now. Yep, I'm gonna have to pull forward. All right, there we go. We're a little crooked, but I can correct that with the boat dolly. There we go, disconnect, looking good. And then we'll pull out here. So Cummins did a good job. Literally with all this power, you can't even feel the boat behind us. But this is the shop that just got built a few months ago. Of course, I got my car lifts, love to turn wrenches, and I do quite a bit of kind of repairs in here. We also rate, race on dirt tracks, stuff like that, but still got to get all my toys in here. The only toy I have down, I guess, is the four-wheeler. I guess you can count the boats too, but it's, uh, it's, I got dirt bikes, I got ATVs, razors, all that good stuff. So wait a second. 
The garage door is open. I didn't even realize that when I pulled in. Nobody's here. It's just me. And I, I'm for sure I shut the garage door. There's been a lot of weird things going on recently around this place that just got me bugged out. Okay, there we go. We'll shut the garage. But that should not have been open. I always check it before I left and I pulled in, didn't even notice. But no, that was not me. That garage door was open. Super weird. I closed it. I don't know what's going on. Make sure there isn't a robber inside or anything. All right, here's the garage. Everything looks fine in here. Got the Sunday morning driver right there. This is my daily. And then this is the wife's Mercedes, of course. All right, yeah, super weird that the garage door was open. And like I said, there's been a lot of weird things going on. Like one morning I came down and the refrigerator and the freezer doors were wide open. They were completely closed. Another day, my keys, I set them in the same spot every time. And those were also moved. So there's been a lot of weird things going on. Then one one afternoon, there's a huge gust of wind just over my field that almost completely flattened the corn. So a lot of weird stuff going on. I'm going to jump on the computer, look at some John Deere equipment here. Got to print out a few things. All right. I got a lot of computer work done. That is good. And look at that. The sun's already down. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get some rest. I'm going to get some sleep. I stayed up real late last night and early this morning. So I yeah, I need to get to bed. So I'll see you guys in the morning. What time is it? It's like 1.32 in the morning. Guys, so I heard something, just woke up, grabbed my glasses, and it's like I heard something out in the field. Wait a minute. Do you guys see that? Okay, it's super dark out there. I got my binoculars. That looks like a flying saucer. It's a UFO, boys. It's a UFO. All right, all right. All right, took my binoculars off. Okay, get my phone, get my camera. Oh, gosh. Okay, uh, let's go out here, jump the Lambo, slide across the hood. There it is. Wow, the moon is out perfect for this. It's almost too good to be true. All right. All right, hide behind this rock. Brought my binoculars with. There it is. It's over the corn. I don't want to startle it. A UFO, guys. A freaking UFO. I've never seen one. Let's take a few pictures. All right, there we go. Let's see if we can get any closer. All right, my army crawl. Just kind of walk here nonchalantly like a little field mouse. There it is, guys. I woke up. It's like 1.30, but it, there's a full moon tonight, and it is so bright out. It's almost like it's during, uh, it's like a, like it's cloudy right now. Or my dog's barking. Oh, no. Crap. My dog's barking. Milton, he's barking. Okay, Milton, I told him to be quiet. Stay down. I feel like that's going to freak out a UFO as if a dog starts chasing after it. All right, this is probably the creepiest thing I've ever done. We're literally walking through a cornfield in the dark. Thank goodness the moon is big. And let's see if we can sneak up on this thing. All right, guys, I think we're getting close. I can't hear it or I don't want to I don't want to try and jump over the corner. I feel like we're getting pretty close, but I couldn't. I heard a big whoosh noise. And then after that, even looking at the UFO, there was no noise coming from it. So I don't know if that was the wind or something when it first came in. It was just sitting here. Whoa, wait, there's a break in the corn. What? What the heck is this? What is this? Somebody destroyed my corn. I literally, there, this should not be here. This is not like, I mean, this is a little muddy, but it's not like this was a water, water spot or anything, or this was flooded. No, I, I literally just flew my drone over this field like a week ago. Wait a second. This is a, this is a crop circle, boys. This is a UFO crop circle. Okay. Let me pull up my phone flashlight. Now I can get a better look. There's the house from here. That's where we, that's where we were. The sprinkler's fine. Irrigation system doesn't seem broken or anything. I just walk in a circle. Thank goodness I didn't have. Yeah, I don't see the UFO anymore. Thank goodness I don't have any cows. They would have abducted, abducted my cows, sucked them right up. Okay, I need to call the cops or something. Get them down here. But it looks like, oh my goodness, it's just a trail to nothing. There's no trees broken or anything. Okay, yeah, I need to get on the phone. I need to call the cops, let them know. You know what? Maybe the cops aren't the best ones to know. Maybe I keep it on the DL. But I am not sleeping for the rest of the night. I think I'm going to get the cops down here and get them to check this out, at least in the morning here. They aren't going to believe me. They probably won't come down for... Probably won't even answer my call. All right, guys. It's about 6.30 in the morning. I've been running around with my head cut off all morning since 1.30 in the morning. So I called these guys. Like I said, I told you guys I got off the... Uh, I sh took... Put down the camera, grabbed my phone... And I called the police, told them. And pretty much I said, hey, I literally saw a UFO in my field. And they're like, asked for my location, all that stuff, you know, basic stuff, asked who I was. Then they hung up. And about an hour later, this semi-truck 
with this trailer thing shows up and it's a ufo mobile command center and pretty much the agents who came out there's like 50 of them right now they're out in the field taking samples doing a bunch of stuff and they told me that 51 cows were taken from my neighbor's farm out in his pasture that they were just vanished and so i called him went and talked to him he said yeah he's got crop circles his cows are gone and they they were abduct abducted and now these agents are telling us that we have to leave here my family's got to pack up and head out and i'm like dude i i live here and the neighbor's same so these guys are going crazy i don't know what to do i should probably shouldn't have even called them but they were probably gonna figure it out anyway so that's insane guys we saw a ufo i don't know if they're gonna be able to catch it and stuff literally we were walking up on it didn't hear anything and boom it was gone all i heard i woke up to was startled by some cows mooing and a big old big old wind noise so i'm gonna screw these guys they're the ones telling me that i have to pack up leave with my family and stuff well i'm not leaving anywhere and my neighbor said he isn't either but that was still pretty crazy there's a bunch of people working in the trailer and then there's a bunch of people out there in like hazmat suits taking samples of the cornfield so i'm pretty pretty whizzed out here and uh but hey we had a good day yesterday i guess we can look back at some old pictures don't know what life is going to be like after this insane we saw a ufo let me know if you guys have seen the ufo in farm sim as well what did you do did you catch it did you get on board did he did he i guess i gotta kind of i gotta unload this atv i forgot to do that yesterday maybe we'll do that real quick and uh and right out in the field they'll get pretty mad but there we go we walked her back and just push it back a bit more come on push push there we go the nice thing about these tesla atvs is how light they are they don't have an engine they have a battery and it's just super simple super light so maybe i could take this thing i should have took this thing on the ufo i could have jumped on this it would have been quiet and i could have snuck up on it all right there we go boys i'm gonna ride out in the field and hopefully nobody sees me i'm gonna try and show you guys the crop circles i can't fly my drone they're gonna catch me if i fly my drone okay here's a crop circle it's like nobody's out here they might have moved down the road because the crop circle goes for miles or the line i guess and then it disappears. No trees were... I was surprised no trees were taken down. But the one guy who got his cows abducted, there's little circles on everywhere that the cows were standing where they pulled them up. So that's pretty insane. And so I wasn't just dreaming last night, like sleepwalking. I literally saw a UFO. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. Like I said, check out G-Portal. It's kind of weird driving this thing. It's just so quiet, but it jumps really good. It has a bunch of torque, so that's really fun. So... Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you liked my place, the boats, West Texas, and I'll see you all in the next one. <laughs>